I am so in love with this color. I don't even know how to act. Hello everyone. So I'm here with the Stila Stay All Day Sparkle All Night um, lip kit, if that's what you want to call it. Lip kit, if you will. And I believe that this is their holiday lip set. And I'm saying that because the first line on the back of the packaging says, tis the season to sparkle. So I'm assuming it uh, has something to do with the holidays. Okay. By the way, if you're wondering why I look crazy, it's because I filmed a video right before this. You can check out that video right up here. I try a whole bunch of other Stila makeup products. In case you're wondering like, why does she have different eyes? Okay, we are going to swatch these liquid lipsticks. The last time I tried to swatch lip colors, I think it was my Glossier video, I went for the darkest one first. And so this time I know better. You know, I have leveled up. I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert on lipstick swatching. The first color that we've got here is in the color Fresco. Every time I hear that word, it reminds me of Agua, agua Fresca. Oh my gosh, it applies like butter. Oh wow, I don't like the color on me, but it, the consistency and the texture is really nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what Fresco looks on my skin color. Not particularly a fan, but I think this one is gonna look, the second color is gonna look better. So this is um, Patina. I think this one will look a little bit better on me because it's darker. You know, I don't actually really like, I mean, you know, I thought that these were supposed to look more nude because they looked nude on my forearm, but these are really like pink. And that's not usually something that I like on me. So I don't like those, but I know for a fact I'm gonna like well, let me not talk, but I know that I'm gonna like the raspberry and the dark one because those are my favorite. I, I love wearing reds on my lips. I don't really like wearing pink. And then we've got Baki or Bachi. I have no idea what language this is, so I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And uh, I know I'm not gonna like this one just because Yeah, so I feel like if you're lighter in skin tone than me, uh, you might like these a little bit better. Or if you like the way pink lipsticks look on you, you might like those a little bit better. I honestly thought that these were gonna be like more nude colors, but they're not. They're like, they're pink. They're really pink. And then next, we've got Baka. Baka means something totally different in Japanese. Or maybe it's Bacha, I don't know. I don't know what language that is. I don't know what how they pronounce that. Raspberry cola. Ooh, okay. You know, I love it already. Yep. Yep, th these darker colors are the ones that I'm gonna like for sure. Yes, ma'am. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes. It kind of reminds me of a more opaque um, crush by Glossier, like the Generation G. This is what this color reminds me of. And I love that it's matte. It dries completely matte, as you can see. I don't really like wearing gloss on my lips. And now I'm gonna try, I don't know how this is gonna look because this looks like really pink in color, but this is the Transcend like glitter top coat. I don't know how it's gonna look on this color specifically, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Do I, am I supposed to shake this? Shake well, yup. Oh, I love this color. Oh my God, I could live in this color. Me gusta, me gusta. Okay, don't know how this is gonna look, but here you go. Whoa! <laughs> what? Okay, I was not expecting literal glitter. I was thinking like, you know, some shine, some sparkles here and there. But this is very glittery. <gasps> Wait. This changes everything. 
Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am kind of digging it, you know? Thought I was gonna hate it, but it was not at all what I was expecting. Oh, you know, wow, okay, you know, there's a reason why they say don't judge a book by its cover, folks. Because I thought this was going to be like, more of like a shimmery shine, and it's literally glitter. It matches my eye and my nails. <laughs> <gasps> wow! You know, I really like it. Wow, I'm shook. <laughs> I am so shook. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to take it off. It's so pretty, you know? Okay. Ah, uh, yes, when you let it completely dry, it is difficult for it to come off. Which is a good thing, <laughs> because you don't want your lipstick to come off during the day. Okay, here we go. The grand finale. Rubino. It's like a really dark red wine color. Oh my god, this is Beautiful, I'm gonna, I could cry. Honestly, I could cry at this color. Here we go. Ah! My love has come along. This is why I'm an actor, not a singer. Oh my god, I love it! Holy crap! Oh, application is like butter. It just glides on so well. Yep, I'm definitely a red girl. I do not like pink. <laughs> Confirmed. Oh my god, look at this color, guys. I am so... I'm really... I'm shook. I am. How many times have I said that during this video? Oh, it looks so good. I mean, it would look better if I didn't have outlines of other lipsticks, but whoa, this looks so good. It looks like, um, honestly, it feels like a Hollywood red, like an old Hollywood red. And it dries completely matte. Here's my verdict, everyone. Glitterazzi top coat shook. Left me completely speechless. These three colors, not really for me. If you are into like pink blush tone lipsticks, these might be really good for you. And honestly, if you're like pale, um, these might look nude on you, but on me, they just look really, really pink. I just don't like pink lipsticks in general. Um, but these two, oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so good, especially when it dries. My battery's gonna die, oh my god, okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My battery is literally going to die. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.